Hey, welcome back to CourseEnvy.com. So today I want to walk you through installing a Facebook Pixel. So I'm going to just jump right into Facebook here. Once you're logged in, just in the top left here, in this menu under Events, Manager, click Pixel. And then in this drop-down, select the Pixel you want to install. So I'll be installing for this client's ad account. I've already created their Facebook page. I've already created their ad account. Now I need to create a pixel to install on the website to start tracking all their various traffic so I can create custom audiences, track those standard events, and then retarget them via Facebook ads. So first we just need to create a pixel. So click this, create a pixel. So we'll just name it their website, that's fine. Actually go over, click their website. Paste that in, create. There we go, we've created our pixel. Now we need to make it work by installing this code on the website. So do we want to set it up manually or set it up with WordPress? Say if you're not sure or you don't have time to install it right now, that's fine. Let's close this and we can always come back to this pixel page click this setup pixel or right here setup install pixel so here's our options Facebook picked up that this is a WordPress blog but say they got this wrong we can browse the other partners such as Shopify WooCommerce Wix Squarespace and so on but it is indeed a WordPress and I prefer using their partner option over installing it manually so we'll set this up WordPress. Here we go. So now we're downloading the plugin that includes our specific new pixel for this website. So this is a WordPress plugin that installs this pixel on this WordPress website. So we'll download that. It's going to be a zip file. Here we go. We'll just close that. Now come over to the website under plugins, add new, upload plugin. So choose file and then go to your downloads and select that zip file. So we have that zip file selected. Click install now. Our Facebook Pixel plugin installed. So we want to activate that plugin. Now to ensure we installed that correctly under settings in this left sidebar, Facebook Pixel. And there we go, we have our Facebook Pixel. And as for this, the advanced matching, this is going to become an automatic thing. So this may be irrelevant by the time you watch this video, but if it's still around, check this box, click save. And we're good. We have our Facebook pixel installed, so we want to just follow through this. Go to settings. I just showed you everything here. Plugins, add new choose that file, upload it, activate that plugin. Now we want to test and make sure the pixel was installed correctly. Enter the URL and send test traffic. There we go. There's our traffic. It's sent. It's loading. We're checking and making sure this pixel is firing when people go to the website. So yep, there it is, active. By opening up that website, the pixel is fired and we've tracked an audience member. So continue. And there we go. We have our pixel installed on our WordPress website. So we can just close this. Click refresh. So our status is now active. So now we can begin to set up audiences, create custom conversions, or we can even set up those standard events. So under setup, set up new events. So again, unless you're a coder or unless you hire one on Upwork, I don't advise using the manual install event code. But if you have that developer in place, great. You can use that feature. I like using and having my clients use the Facebook event setup tool. So we'll just click that. Now we just enter the URL where we want to track our first event. So I know they have this page so we'll copy this one we know this is 
equivalent to a lead. So we'll paste that in, open website. Okay, so as you can see, here's the Facebook event setup tool. So what events occur on this page? So for this specific page, my client is seeking people to click on this button. So we'll do exactly that. Click plus, track new button. So here we go, we're clicking on this highlighted button to set up our event. Select an event. And now here's our standard event options. What do we want to track when people click on this button? So you can scroll down, see what standard events are available here. So depending on what you're trying to track, this could fall under the view content. This also could be a lead. It really depends on how you structure your audiences and what you prefer for the various jargon when creating future Facebook ads. So would you rather treat people who click this button as a lead? This is a warm lead. This is somebody I can remarket to. Or do you want leads to equate actual email conversions? I captured their email address when they subscribed to a newsletter, for example. So some people would call that a lead, but some people would call simply clicks on a website a potential lead. So it really depends on what you prefer calling these events. But for me, I agree with the description of a lead is someone who has exchanged something, such as an email address. So I would call this just simply a view content standard event. So we'll confirm that. And there is one more button on this page. So track new button, scroll down, here we go. Select event, again, this is a view content for me. There we go. So on this page, we now have two standard events set up. View content tracking people who click the learn how button and a view content standard event for people who click the sign up button. So we'll finish setup. We're happy with this for now. Click finish. Skip this rating. Okay, great. Now back to Facebook. Event setup complete. Let's test those events. So again, enter that URL that you want to test the events on, the standard events. So open that website and click these buttons. So go back, scroll down. I want to click that button as well. Okay. So as you can see, we just tracked some recent activity. We click this view content, so we can expand that. The sign up button was clicked. And here, the learn how button was clicked. So currently, my client only has these two standard events they want to track on their website. But if I want to add future events, very easily come back to this setup, set up new events, and again, use the Facebook event setup tool to add more events to specific web pages on your website. So for now, I'm fine with just leaving these two view content standard events. And then obviously there's the page view. That's the base pixel code. Every base pixel code includes the page view event because that's the generic overall website. So what page was viewed? 